Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, I want to give a prophecy in this video because I think I can predict the future. I think I know what we're headed to because if you look around, you can already see it happening. The problem is we haven't perfected this future. We still have a few bugs to work out where people need to be convinced, people need to be trained, and people need to forget the old ways. I think in the next 10 to 20 years, our world is going to be a much more extreme version of the one we're living in today. And I think that now is the time where you have to decide what kind of future you're going to choose to live in. Because I think that going forward, there will only be two paths to choose from. The first path is an unintentional path where you embrace the new ways, conform to the complexity, and live a wasteful lifestyle. The second path is an intentional path where you reject the new ways, see the beauty and simplicity, and adopt a more frugal lifestyle. And now is the time to choose which path you're going to go because in the next 10 years, this complex world is gonna be so normal. We won't be able to remember how it used to be. We won't be able to see the absurdity of these new ways because as humans, we accept the reality of the world with which we are presented. And in this video, I want to share my prophecy on the future, what I believe is going to happen in the next 10 to 20 years. And by explaining this, you can decide what path you want to choose to go on. The unintentional path of embracing this complexity or the intentional path of rejecting this complexity and striving for a more simple, frugal lifestyle. So here are my five prophecies on the future. Prophecy 1 all products will become services. I think in the near future, ownership will be a thing of the past. I don't think that people own things like a computer or a car or a house. No, instead of owning things, people will pay a monthly fee to use a service and it will be called a subscription. And so instead of owning things, you will just subscribe to everything. And you can already see this happening right now, where instead of owning DVDs to watch, you subscribe to Netflix with tons of options. Instead of owning every feature of a car, you subscribe to Tesla to use features like self-driving. Instead of owning a book, you subscribe to Kindle Unlimited with tons of titles to choose from. In the last 10 years, we've been moving away from this ownership model and opting for a more subscription model in everything. And there's many advantages of this, like smaller payments, an abundance of options, and you won't have to worry about maintenance. However, there are also a lot of drawbacks of this, like subscription fees will add up, payments never stop, and you get so used to abundance that you can't live without it. In the future, you are going to have to choose if you want to embrace this ownership model or the subscription model. In 2021, the average consumer spent $273 a month on subscription services. And despite having these high monthly payments, there's no end goal of ownership. Embracing subscriptions over ownership could lead to a very expensive future. And so as we go, forward into the future, if you want to take the more intentional path, you must be content with fewer options, opt for more basic things, and pay larger sums of money up front for ownership. You can't have it all, and there will come a point where you have to decide what you want, subscriptions in abundance or ownership in less. Prophecy 2. People will come extremely dependent on convenience. Since Amazon released two-day shipping, I think it created this new standard where everything needs to be convenient, where all businesses need to make their products or services easy and effortless for the consumer. And people have been very quick to latch on to this convenient. People have started to embrace convenience in their lives, thinking that it makes their lives better, where instead of going to the grocery store, they have the groceries delivered. Instead of picking up food, they use Uber Eats. Instead of taking their dog for a walk, they use Rover. People have just embraced these convenient services so much in their lives, and they come with many advantages, like more time to do what you want, 
easier alternatives in the avoidance of minuscule tasks. However, there's also a lot of drawbacks to constantly using these convenient services, like they cost more money, they can make you less self-sufficient, and you can eventually become dependent on them. We're starting to see it now, but I think in the future, people will become so dependent on these convenient services that they'll start to think they can no longer live without them. People will become so dependent on these convenient services that they'll forget that they can in fact do all these things on their own, and they will lose their autonomy by becoming fully dependent on convenience. Always seeking convenience over doing things yourself can ultimately cost you a lot more money, but it can also make you a less self-sufficient person. And as we go into the future, if you want to take the more intentional path, you must reject these convenient services, see the beauty of being self-sufficient, and take the less convenient route. As things become more and more convenient, you will have to decide what is important to you, convenience and dependency, or responsibility and autonomy? Prophecy three, people will forget they can live without extras. As we become more and more advanced, we have more extra things that make our lives easier and more luxurious. And the interesting thing about these extra things is that once you add them into your life, you quickly become accustomed to them and you can't imagine life without them. For example, people are so used to having an app to see who's at their front door, or people are so used to tracking their vital signs in real time, or having someone bring them everything. And there are dozens of other examples of things that we didn't have 15 years ago that we have now that we can no longer imagine living life without them. And although it's nice to have these extra things, they're not necessary for survival or even having a higher quality of life. And when you get so accustomed to having so many extra things in your life, there are many drawbacks like a distortion of wants and needs, an expensive normal budget, and a dependence on these extra things. In the future, we could get so accustomed to these extra things that we end up being like those people in chairs in the movie Wall-E, where we're not tough enough for outdoor environments or we can't even get up from a chair. Pardon my language, but sometimes there is no better expression. We need to stop acting like little bitches and acting like we can't live without these extra things because we are becoming so soft and so weak to the point where we will eventually become like these people in chairs. And so as we go into the future, if you want to go the more intentional path, you must understand what's essential, stop whining, and stop seeking only what's easy. As we move closer to a world like Wally, you are going to have to decide what is important to you, extras in reliance or basics in independence. Prophecy four, people will lack basic life skills. I believe that if we do not live intentional lives, we will live in a very dystopian world where people will become so accustomed to convenience, abundance, and so many services that they will no longer know how to do things on their own. We will lack basic life skills. And you can already see this playing out where instead of remembering information, we have personal assistance. Instead of embracing the challenge of writing, we have chat GPT. Instead of learning how to cook, we have HelloFresh. The point I'm trying to make in this video is that we are headed to a future where instead of doing things on our own, we're just outsourcing everything to make our lives easier. And when you constantly seek what is easy, it comes with many drawbacks like the lack of basic life skills. You pay more for basic things and you lose what it means to be a human. Do you really wanna live in a world where you depend on some corporation to give you everything, where you depend on a company to prepare your meals? Because when you take away these tiny things and just outsource these tasks, what else do you have? When you can no longer do these simple tasks, what's the point of living? As we head into the future, if you want to take the more intentional path, you must learn skills that aren't fun and enjoyable, 
take the hard route, and find satisfaction from doing your own work. As everything becomes packaged and sold, you have to decide what is important to you, outsourcing and dystopia or self-sufficiency and satisfaction. Prophecy 5. Nobody is coming to save us from ourselves. I like to view myself as optimistic El Augustine and believe that one day everybody's just going to come to their senses and embrace a more simple way of life and deny all this complexity. But the truth is, nobody is coming to save us from ourselves. And I think, as we move into this complex, advanced world, there will just be two different types of people, unintentional people and intentional people. And I think it will just come down to individual decision on what path people take. And most people will probably take the unintentional path and become extremely dependent on corporations, become soft from luxury, and constantly be struggling financially due to distortion of wants and needs. And there will be a smaller group of people that choose to go down that other path, that more intentional path, and they will have less be more autonomous, and be more free to do what they want. And I think that now is the time to decide what path you are going to choose because 10 to 20 years from now, we won't remember how things used to be. Things will just be so normal that we're no longer able to see them. And in my opinion, as I head to the future, I'm choosing the more intentional path of embracing a more frugal, simple life because I think that's the only way that we're gonna survive the future because nobody is coming to save us from ourselves. And with that, muchas gracias, que tenga un buen día, video 102, no vemos chico.